Thank you very much, Anne-Marie. And, uh, and I want to also extend my thanks to the legal community for hosting this incredibly important and very timely um, conversation. Uh, Dr. Akim Steiner articulated uh, very clearly uh, the incredibly important uh, role you play in this conversation as well as ambitious action. Um, the focus uh, this week is on the management of climate, climate action, both on the policy and regulatory side of, of the conversation, as well as on the finance needed. And, and clearly, we've heard both uh, uh, from Laura and the President what will be required to get this agenda moving. Um, scientists have also told us in no uncertain terms everything that we need to know. Um, and they have certainly set the scene and the very foundations for the conversations we're having today. Um, on the other side, we have seen entrepreneurs, inventors, businesses, the private sector, uh, show us that it's not, pos it's not only possible uh, to um, do things differently, to run businesses differently, but it can also be incredibly profitable. Some have gone as far as to say that it's the best possible strategy for economic growth in the future. What we're trying to do right now is to work out what else we can do. What additional incentives do people need, uh, both to respond and to engage effectively? And this, of course, brings us to the subject of communication. How do we translate incredibly complex and sometimes daunting information um, so that there is enough momentum and enough desire to want to contribute among the general public? Uh, to try and do this today, we're going to be presenting the digital media zone. Uh, people use everyone in this room and many others, social media, uh, every day in public life uh, to move uh, the needle on, on, on big agendas. We ask ourselves, um, how best can we convey information in a way that it can be compelling enough, um, that it means something to people in a way that would get them to engage in real action? Um, ultimately, uh, just as much as it is a collective action, collective responsibility, it also boils down to the actions of individuals. You saw earlier the winners of the film for uh, climate video competition, 860 entries from 155 countries in just three months. Um, it tells you just how much young people uh, from around the world uh, want to be involved uh, and want to express their individual creativity and, importantly, solidarity across borders. So the Zone will offer um, everyone an opportunity uh, to um, air their views, uh, to think differently, to think outside the box, uh, to come up with criteria uh, for communicating solutions uh, that work, uh, which is what we know uh, young people are best at doing. So it's intended to be a place where we can level some of those complexities that science puts in front of us, where we can move past um, the politics and, and, uh, um, and the red tape uh, through collective collaboration and action by young people. So now who better to lead us uh, in this exploration than uh, Victoria Barrett, uh, Paula Hernandez, and Brian McDermott, for clim from the Alliance for Climate Education and Earth Guardian. Uh, come and join me, say hello. Could we please extend them a warm applause as well? Hi, everyone. My name is Victoria Barrett. Um, I'm, 17, I'm a 17 year old Honduran American with roots in the Garifuna indigenous culture, and I live in New York City. I'm a youth activist and a proponent for human rights and social justice. I'm a fellow with the Alliance for Climate Education, a youth leader with Global Kids, and a youth council member on Earth Guardians. I'm here this week to share my story about how young people and all our allies are using this legal system to drive swift climate action. I'm happy to be here with my colleagues, Brian and Paola. We'll be working out of the digital media zone as youth reporters to ensure the important stories, lessons, and best practices that are shared this week make it to the youth audience and their allies, and we'd be glad if you guys could help us with that. Good morning, my name is Brian McDermott. I recently served as the fellow with the Alliance for Climate Education in Boston, Massachusetts, and am now a first year student at American University. Uh, I'll be reporting from the Digital Media Zone this week, capturing stories, lessons, and best practices to share with the broader youth network in DC and nationally.
Hello, good morning. My name is Paola Hernandez. I'm a Mexican-American high school student and New York City based fellow with the Alliance for Climate Education. I'll be reporting from the digital media zone to ensure more young people are engaged in this issue. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we will now reconvene. I believe we'll take a break and reconvene again at 11 o'clock. Um, we're very pleased and grateful that uh, we can welcome back Hakeem Steiner to the digital media zone as well to answer questions and share some of his thoughts with all of you. Thank you very much.